Welcome, let's start with our top story. The Black Lives Matter protests have now spread around the world with people coming out in solidarity in their countries. Let's take a look at some of these protests in major cities of the world. Hundreds of people in front of the U.S. Embassy in Mexico's capital to hold a candlelight vigil in honor of George Floyd. Wearing black, people laid flowers and placards as tribute. In Lebanon, many people gathered in front of the American University of Beirut to hold a vigil for George Floyd. People were also seen protesting against the widespread racism that migrant workers face in Lebanon. In the Spanish city of Barcelona, there was a similar candlelight vigil in honor of Floyd. People were seen observing a minute's silence in Barcelona's Plaza Catalina. Meanwhile, protests turned violent in France as police fired tear gas to disperse protesters in Lille. Protesters called for justice for Adama Traore, a 24-year-old black man killed during police arrest. In London, a small group of protesters chanting Black Lives Matter outside the home of Dominic Cummings and close aide to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Demonstrators were even seen lying on the road and chanting slogans. The Black Lives Matter movement also reached Austria with thousands of protesters taking to the streets. With protests raging across the globe, German Chancellor Angela Merkel condemned the killing of George Floyd in the United States as terrible. Ich wünsche den Vereinigten Staaten, dass genau das nicht passiert, sondern das Land, dass das Land zueinander findet. Dieser Mord an George Floyd ist schrecklich. Er ist äh, Rassismus und ähm, wir wissen selber, dass wir auch bei uns so etwas wie Rassismus kennen. Und deshalb haben wir auch bei uns alle Hände voll zu tun, das will ich ganz ausdrücklich sagen, aber ich vertraue auf die demokratische Kraft der Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika, dass sie mit dieser schwierigen Situation fertig werden. Hundreds of mourners joined in for an emotional memorial service for George Floyd in Minneapolis. Members of Floyd's family, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, Senator Amy Klobuchar and Mayor Jacob Frey stood in front of Floyd's casket, whose death at the hands of police have sparked protests around the world. Those gathered at this service stood in silence for eight minutes and 46 seconds, which was the same amount of time the police officer was kneeling on Floyd's neck. Hundreds of people even gathered outside the service, holding placards and standing in silence to pay tribute. The North Central University, where the memorial took place, also announced the establishment of a George Floyd Memorial Scholarship Fund at the school. <laughs> memorial services for Floyd will stretch across six days and three states. His attorney even said that it wasn't the COVID-19 pandemic, but the pandemic of racism that killed Floyd. All these people came to see my brother, and it was not the coronavirus pandemic that killed George Floyd. I want to make it clear on the record. 
Will Packard, it was that other pandemic that we are far too familiar with in America, that pandemic of racism and discrimination that killed George Floyd. All these people came to see my brother, and that's amazing to me that he touched so many people's hearts, you know, because he's been touching our hearts, you know. You know, I'm just staying strong as I can because I need to get it out. I need to get it out. Everybody wants justice. We want justice for George. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. At the end of the service, the hearse carrying George Floyd's coffin was seen leaving, and firefighters and policemen were seen taking a knee as the hearse drove by.